What if a small country created a secret shield in space, a protective system that operates completely outside our atmosphere? This is not science fiction. This is happening right now, and it's changing how nations think about defense. Welcome to Winds of Thought, where we explore the ideas shaping our future. Today, we are looking at the most significant strategic shift in modern warfare, the move to orbital dominance. The story begins decades ago with a single satellite launch. That was the moment everything changed. It was the first step toward creating an independent eye in the sky, a way to see the world without asking for permission from anyone else. This was never just about exploration or communication. It was, from the very beginning, about security and sovereignty. The fundamental idea was powerful and simple. See everything, depend on no one. Over many years, this capability was refined and improved. The technology became smaller, smarter, and far more powerful. The early bulky satellites gave way to agile, advanced observation platforms that could be launched quickly and repositioned as needed. The goal was constant, unwavering surveillance of the entire planet. The newest generation of these satellites possesses incredible clarity. They can distinguish objects on the ground that are mere inches in size. They can see clearly during the day or at night and they can peer through cloud cover and bad weather that would blind other systems. This provides military planners with a real-time, God's-eye view of any potential conflict zone anywhere on Earth. But seeing a threat is only the first part of the equation. The real challenge has always been stopping it. This is where the strategy becomes truly revolutionary. The battlefield has officially expanded from the dirt and soil to the vast expanse of space. We all know the famous ground-based missile defense systems that can intercept rockets, but the next generation of this technology is leaving the planet behind. Research and development is now intensely focused on orbital platforms equipped with directed energy weapons. Imagine powerful lasers traveling at the speed of light capable of neutralizing a ballistic missile during the middle phase of its flight, long before it reaches its target. This concept creates a defensive shield that is fundamentally different from anything that came before. It is always on, has a global reach, and is remarkably cost-effective. Instead of firing million-dollar interceptor missiles each time a threat appears, a nearly limitless supply of energy could be used to stop it. The strategic implications of this are profound. It would change the balance of power and rewrite the rules of engagement on a global scale. For such a complex and widespread system to function, it requires a central nervous system, a brain that can process information at unimaginable speeds. That brain is artificial intelligence. The AI acts as the digital commander, integrating a constant flood of data from thousands of sources, ground-based radar stations, unmanned aerial drones, and of course the space-based sensors. All feed information into a central command nexus. The artificial intelligence performs instant threat assessment, it calculates missile trajectories, identifies the type of weapon being used, and recommends countermeasures, all in the time it takes you to blink. In modern warfare, where decisions must be made in milliseconds, this automated decision-making cycle provides an almost insurmountable advantage. Human operators remain in the loop to oversee the process and make final judgments, but the machine handles the immense computational speed required. This represents not just an upgrade to existing systems, but a complete transformation in how national defense is orchestrated. Perhaps the most unsettling capability for any potential adversary is a new form of detection that operates in total silence. Imagine a technology that does not rely on radar waves, which can be detected, countered, or jammed. Instead, it uses pure light and advanced optics. Passive electro-optical sensors can track aircraft, drones, and even other satellites without emitting any signal of their own. By analyzing minute changes in the background lightscape, these sophisticated sensors can pinpoint the location of stealth vehicles that were specifically designed to be invisible to traditional radar. It is a silent sentinel, constantly watching without ever revealing its presence. The entire operation depends on a robust and secure communication network. This is provided by a dedicated constellation of satellites that may seem like ordinary civilian broadcast assets from the outside, but they serve a vital dual purpose. During times of conflict or crisis, they form a secure, encrypted, and highly jam-resistant network that ensures military and government leaders can communicate with each other and with field units even if ground-based infrastructure is destroyed or disabled. 
This guarantees that every component of the defensive web, from the soldier on the ground to the weapon in orbit, can stay connected and receive orders without interruption. In the 21st century, this kind of information autonomy is the ultimate form of sovereignty. So, what does the future hold? The roadmap points clearly toward the establishment of a fully realized space command, a dedicated military branch responsible for the orbital domain. Projects currently on the drawing board include swarms of tiny, low-cost satellites that can be launched rapidly to provide blanket coverage over a specific area. Autonomous orbital patrol vehicles that can maneuver and make decisions independently. And the deeper integration of artificial intelligence into every single facet of space-based defense. The ultimate goal is a seamless multi-domain shield that is impenetrable by air, land, sea, or cyberspace. This entire endeavor proves a powerful new principle in global security. The nation with the most advanced technology, not necessarily the one with the largest army or the biggest budget, holds a decisive strategic advantage. And right now that critical edge is being forged high above us in the silent cold vacuum of space. The next war may not be fought on any map we recognize. It may be won or lost in orbit before a single shot is fired on the ground. If you found this exploration of the future of defense fascinating, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing Twins of Thought. We bring you deep dives into the most important technologies and ideas that are shaping our world. Tomorrow, thank you for watching.